Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to this week's episode of the Human Experience Challenge, which is based on a challenge by the same name by Lizzie Sims and the link to the challenge is in the description. And basically we have our alien, Amara Smith, and she has to find out what life life on Sim Earth is like. And she has a series of challenges that have been set to her by her superiors on the planet um, Sixum, where she comes from, and she has to complete them. And so far, we've had a little bit of a side challenge where we've gone to Strangerville and we have defeated Mother. Amara has come back with her two friends. Her friend Alicia was looking after the place and Caleb and Don have both come back with her and she got married to Caleb in the last episode and we're currently waiting to find out if Amara is pregnant or not because I'm not going to let her have a pregnancy test because she's an alien and sim pregnancy tests don't work on her. So in today's episode I think what we will do is that we're going to get Amara to start looking for stuff to build a collection because one of her objectives is to complete a collection. And looking at what she has, what she knows, if you click on household collections, she's found eight collections. The one she has the most of is gardening. So I think gardening might be the way to go. Uh, elements. Elements is pretty fast though. I'm not sure how you get elements. I guess we have to go around looking for dig spots. Um, collectible plates and souvenir frogs. Oh, this is from... Um, uh, Sel Salvadorian jungle. Well, that sounds interesting. We might have to take a... We might do that then. If you go through the jungle... Uh, can find these treasures within treasure chests hidden t throughout the Salvadorian jungle. I think we can do that because she has money. And we can go on holiday. Okay, so... Let's pause for a second and let's see what we need to do. So we don't want gardening. We want, we don't want that either. We want the Omniscan treasures. There's 13 of them. So the Omniscan people treasured collectible plates and souvenir frogs. Sims can find these treasures within treasure, tre treasure, treasure chests hidden throughout the Salvadorian jungle. Oh, we have something up here too. Welcome to the jungle, Amara. Some handy adventure items have been added to your inventory as part of your retail rental package. If you plan on exploring the Belosian Belo jungle, you should first stop by the Puerto Lamente marketplace and pick up more gear. Well, I think we're going to do that. We have spider repellent, a machete, and that's it. So let's have a look. We are in the jungle. Here's our little, nice little home. And we said we need to go to the market. Okay, there is a store. We don't want to order any drink or food. Are these all decorative? Um, where are you go? Oh, she's going to use the toilet. Oh, she's throwing up. Not a good sign. Well, you can clean that up. You know, it's in poor taste to leave the toilet in such a bad way. And there's nobody at the market yet. It's a bit too early. Oh, somebody's set up. Let's go have a look. No, not... Um, we can purchase an archaeology table. And we can buy exploration supplies. She looks fishy. Okay, a roadmap to love. A quirky novel about a teenager who is separated from a high school sweetheart only to cross paths and rekindle their romance overseas ten years later. No thanks. And we'll get a light, a light as well. 
and then let's buy some food and then we'll set off on our adventure. Twenty five per cent off, okay. Order discounted food and what do we want? Empanadas. Empanadas are delicious. And Amara's glowing again. I don't know how she's... Maybe this is a glow only she can see. And other aliens. I don't know. Right, we're at the trailhead. Can we take these lanterns? No. Pity. Okay. Let's start our adventure. Where do we start? Here. Oh, who's this? Paparazzi. More paparazzi. Clear path with machete. I don't know why the paparazzi are there, because they're not really, they're not in their element. That's quite funny. That is very funny. Oh, that ring is scary. <laughs> Uh, Amara? Okay, a glint catches Amara's eye as she's, and she spies something shiny in the middle of a patch of vines. As she approaches, she noticed that the vines seem to move menacingly and that an old torn boot sits among them. Is it evidence of another traveller who wasn't so lucky? Should Amara attempt to retrieve the shiny object or leave the hostile plants alone? Leave the treasure or retrieve the treasure? Or distract with... Uh, let's retrieve the treasure. Amara has never heard of a plant that could harm Sims in any of her garden studies. Drawn by the shiny treasure, she confidently she strolls to the patch of vines. The vines, however, open up and let out some swampy jungle gas, which poisons Amara. Oh dear. She's... Okay. And what do you want to do? If you have a cardo tree... We'll, view, we'll go with Enamara and view the avocado tree. And then let's go through. I was kind of hoping that she could have found treasure on her first try. But that wasn't to be. Where are we? Um, Are we back at the trailhead? I can't. Oh, we're back at the trailhead. That's the thing about the jungle plots. It's really hard to tell where you are. Right, let's go back. Right, let's zoom out, see what we can see. And let's go over here. Jog here. I'm supposed to be looking out for dig piles as well. Amara, you just ran straight over a snake. It is not Amara's day. It's so not her day. Okay, we have shower in a can. Use waterfall in the bottle. That should help. And did we bring any food? We have the cooler. Let's go on the other side and place the place the tent. And there is a excavation pile. Because while we're here, we might as well get our um, archaeology skill up as well. Those snakes must be harmless. They just go past everybody. Okay, you're tired. Let's put up the, let's pitch the tent. And you're hungry. Uh, where's the cooler? Place in world? Um, granola. 
actually, we have the energy thing, don't we? Uh, spider repellent. Fire quencher. Liquid rush. Drink that. Put an inventory. Yeah, it's not that much of a liquid rush. Okay. Put an inventory. Who got in? Oh, Caleb got promoted. Junior Tinkerer. Cool. Right, let's go... Okay, we'll go here and we'll pitch the tent. Okay, so after you have something to eat, let's go through this thing. Um, put an inventory. Okay, Amara is foraging through the jungle when she trips over a large looking egg just lying on the jungle floor. What kind of creature is inside? What should Amara do? Ah, uh, leave the egg alone. A giant creature lunges its head out, spitting fire at Amara. She runs to safely, narrowly avoiding getting singed. And let's go on to the next bit. And there's somebody out in the middle of the jungle, in the middle of the night. Friendly introduction. Hello, strange man, standing in the jungle in the middle of the night. Why is she very flirty, though? Amara stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly, a previous adventurer has been through here as the remains of a small fire and an old tattered knapsack. There might still be something valuable inside or something dangerous. Should Amara investigate? I think we should search for, for stuff. Amara carefully inspects the pack and suspects a creature may have taken residence inside. She grabs a nearby stick and starts carefully probing the pack as a poisonous scorpion crawls out and scampers away into the jungle. Amara digs through the pack and finds some useful gear inside. Okay, travel to the royal baths? Yes. Right, well, I guess we can pitch the tent and let's sleep. Well, well, well. Amara, you're going to be eating for two. Which is excellent. But we've also got this vacation. Where we're trying to bring up your... Your skill. Hmm. I think we might have to cut short our vacation. Well, then, let's... What are you going to do? You're going to view, yeah. What are you doing now? Are you reading the Wilderness Digest? Are there any chests or anything around here? I'm not seeing any chests, any adventure chests or anything. Let's pack everything up. You might have to go home, Mara, but let's go through here. It must be from all the extra... Oh, you've disappeared. Must be from all the extra hormones. Um, Amara hears a growl through the jungle and John slowly turns to see a jaguar patrolling through the jungle with something shiny in its jaws. The cat hasn't spotted Amara yet. Should she wait for it to stop moving or try to jump scare it? I think we should jump scare it. Amara jumps and grabs a nearby branch with a gymnastic grace. She swings over the branch and kicks the shiny object out of the jaguar's mouth. The jaguar runs away and Amara finds a shiny reward. So what do you have? Ooh, shin shino shino light or shiner light. Okay, well now we've got that. And I think oh what's this you found? Tree of emotions. What's the tree of emotions? Okay. 
Can we harvest it? Harvest all. That was a very strange laugh. Do we have anywhere else to go? Because I kind of want to. I mean, we travel. Oh, what's this? Can we go up the stairs? No. Where else can we go? It's it's hard to see where you can go which is a shame because this is a really nice lush looking pack oh there's a there's a treasure chest at least let's look at the treasure chest and then we can go home because you need to stay home and look after yourself um, she took an artifact, some adventure gear, a mystic relic, and put them in her inventory. Okay, let's see what's new. Uh, Omniscan vase and Balamphasol relic. Alright, go back to lodging. So, Amara, you have some very good news to tell Caleb, although he is, he's not there. He's at work. We'll go use the toilet. And now, now we've got an addition on the way, we've got to think about what we want to do. Because we want Caleb, we want, not Caleb, we want Don and, and Alicia to stay with us. Because one of the objectives is to maintain five good friends. And, you know, she's, she's friends. She's not let me see, who does she consider friends? Just Caleb and Don. Household. Where's it? Oh, she doesn't know Alicia at all. Don is friends with Alicia, kind of. Okay, but Alicia was nice enough to look after her apartment when she was away. So I think we will be moving. Because, of course, too, you've got the mice and stuff, and that's not really good. But we need to expand. We need another couple of rooms. So I think we're going to have to move to another lot if we start packing things up. Actually, I think we can move. First of all, I think we've got to pay the rent because the bills came. Pay rent. And then we can look for, and now we can look for another another place. Now, where do we want to move to? Hmm. Some place nice we can bring up the children children i don't even know if there's going to be children but we want somewhere nice clean that shower but now i think the time has come because we better do it before amara gets any bigger because she's still in the first trimester which is fine let's have a look and see where we can go okay we've got willow creek it's a nice place big park and it's lush Oasis Springs, which is very desert-like. You've got Newcrest, which is empty. No, it's not empty. That's that's where they have... That's the empty... Yeah, that's empty. So we're not going to go there. Magnolia Promenade is where they have the shops. Windenburg. I don't know if there's anywhere in Windenburg that's suitable. We have a spot there. But there's no big parks or anything. San Mishino, that's where we are. Forgotten Hollow, no. Brindleton Bay. Not by the sea. It's nice. Well, we've got Dash, Dashounds Creek. That's that looks like it might be a nice place actually, because it's right by a river. Okay, where else do we have? Del Sol Valley. Now that's not. It's not really a nice place to to bring up a family and of course Strangerville and we've just come from Strangerville and we don't want Strangerville I think Brindleton Bay and Dashaun Creek so let's move our family out here mm. Huh. 
Okay, well then, let, where's the post box? There's the post box. Okay, well then, let's get on with it.
that's it. That's the house. Which isn't too bad, considering I'm not much of a decorator. But we've got enough room that we can expand. There's a room in the back. That will be the baby's room. Um, Alicia and Don can share that room. There's another room that's going to be used as the bathroom, but at the moment we don't have enough. Well, we, we do have money for an extra toilet. I think I might put a bath in that room. But we've got plenty of space. I'm kind of liking this house. It's growing on me, definitely growing on me. Can we afford another bath? If we can afford a bath and a toilet, then that's good. That's not what I came in for. I came in for a bath and a toilet. Tita Titanic terrarium. Oh, I see. This is the one for inside the house. I, I don't know if there's enough room for them to... All these little decorations and stuff, I really shouldn't be putting them up because they don't have a lot of money. But they're really cool and I like them. And let's see if we can slide that into the corner. There. Right. We need to furnish for a child, for a baby. Um, well, there's not much at the moment. Really, all we need is a crib. We can put in... Actually, let's go as it goes. Let's just put in a crib and a pretty frog. Frog can't be seen against the background, though. Um, that one. Although that kind of looks like the stuff of nightmares. No. Synthetic food rug. No. Oh, the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, always good. And we wanted an extra bath and a toilet. That's that's like when you go shopping and you go into a store and think, yeah, just going in for one thing, just the one thing. And then you come out with a whole basket full of groceries. A tub and a toilet. Might as well get a potty while we're here. Uh, toilet. Oh, we were in the toilets tab. I so was not concentrating. Okay, now we have very little money. But that's fine because now Amara has a place of her own. She does. She's not renting. She is a homeowner, and that is a very cute little house. Okay, so that was for who? Her, I think. Part of her aspiration: spend a thousand simoleons on kids' stuff, because we have to do her her aspiration as well. Are you? Oh yeah, you were. Well, you were poisoned, but you're not anymore. You want to sleep? Go and sleep, Amara.
And I think this is where... Do you get a nicely decorated moodlet? Um, eating for two, decorated, yeah. So that should make everybody happy. Did I put a light in the kitchen? Mm, it's over. I should put a light on the kitchen wall. Let's see if we can put these in the... in the metal thing, because we couldn't last time. Because it kept saying they didn't belong to Amara, even though we knew they did. Uh, we can't put it in the inventory. Don, can you interact with these? No. Uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do with these. Because you can't sell them. It's a pity, because you can't sell them. And, and that's it. Well, we're going to leave it there. We started Amara with trying to complete a collection. Don, let's get you to get some friends. Because we got the welcome wagon. It's only one person. And the welcome wagon. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, Don does look intrigued. We'll talk to the young lady. Oh, there's more. Oh, who is he? Delgato. Ah, uh, okay. They're together, I'm guessing. Your dress sense, mister. The shoes and socks with those shorts? Nah. But who am I to say? Well, we're going to leave the welcome wagon. And for a minute I thought she'd kissed Don and I'd say, what, 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 what? Is this drama? But no, not drama. So, yes, as I was saying before the welcome wagon turned up. Oh, and... Oh, Alicia's been promoted. To head dishwasher. Um, corporate chic countertop. What does that look like? And we get three of them. Okay. Let's put these in our inventory. Two... Three. Are they connected? I like those better than these. Okay, let's sell those. And chic. Um, the island. Can you not get the countertop? Oh, there's the countertop. We get two of those. Put a sink in one. Sell these two. Do we get this fridge in grey? Yeah. Right. Okay, I keep trying to finish the episode. And now these look out of place. Have they got them in a white colour? A whitish? Yeah, I keep, keep keep trying to finish the episode. Yeah. Eh, oh no, actually blue. Well, they don't have the table in blue. But they got the chairs in blue. Yep. Yeah. Right. Now, Alicia's come home. She has been promoted. We've changed up the kitchen to match her kitchen counters. Um, the welcome wagon came and interrupted us. Right, so, as I was saying, we're going to leave it there. Amara is pregnant. Um, we started to build up her collections. But we had to come home because, you know, she's pregnant. We don't want her to have the baby in the wilderness. We've moved house. And, um, we seem to be doing pretty okay. I think we're doing okay. So, in the next episode, we're going to concentrate on keeping Amara happy. And I think we might start on the gardening skill. It doesn't help, it doesn't hurt to at least start skills. 
So we can do the gardening skill, see if we can get that skill up, and that will count towards her learning something. Okay, well, thanks for joining us in this episode. I hope you really liked it, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.